Welcome to section two of the Advanced Microsoft Bot Framework course. In this section, we're going to be looking at different channels and how to publish and deploy your bot using these channels. Let's go quickly over the items that we'll be learning. First, we'll learn how to publish to Azure. And then we'll move on to deploying to Skype, which is the default channel available through Microsoft. We'll then be looking at publishing to Facebook Messenger, as well as customizing messengers that we can use within Facebook Messenger. Publishing to Azure. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to publish your bot to Azure through Visual Studio. We'll be registering your bot on the Bot Framework Developer Portal, as well as look at how to add additional security to your bot. There's a couple of prerequisites for this course. You need to have an Azure account, but this is possible to sign up for a free account that's linked to your Microsoft credentials. You receive free credit when creating a new account. You'll also need a Skype account, as well as a Facebook account when publishing to these channels. So let's start where we left off. We have a simple bot that is passing through requests through a Lewis dialog, our CakeBot. Our first means of deployment is through Microsoft Service Azure. We can do this through the Azure site itself, but also through Visual Studio. Since we've been working a lot in Visual Studio, I will use this method. What you have to do is right click on CakeBot and click Publish. You can see there is an option for Microsoft Azure services here, so you can click it. Click Publish. This will bring up the screen. I'm already signed in, but you can sign in using your trial version login. You then will choose your free trial as your subscription, and then you need to select your resource group. A resource group is a kind of grouping you can create to group things together. For example, if you have a project that is made up of several resources. I named mine CakeBot. You have another option here to select your app service plan. Again, this is mainly for you to select that all of your resources would be present in the same place. So this option allows you to do that. Once this is all set up, just go ahead and click Create. This could take a while to set up, so give it some time. So here you're being given a deployment piece that Azure will fill out for you. It shows your site URL, as well as your resource group, and a username, as well as a, a password. In Visual Studio, you will see the output. What it is doing now is publishing our app. So you can see all these tasks have been run and at the end you can see it tells us build succeeded and publish succeeded. You will then get a pop-up which shows us that we are now officially published. So let's copy the destination URL for now. So what we need to do now is go to the developer page in the bot framework. The URL is dev.botframework.com. Sign in and go to your My Bots page. What we can do now is register our bot. So let's add in the relevant fields. You can choose a display name and a bot handle. They can be the same, depending if the bot handle is available or not. Let's just try with CakeBot and give a description. Right, so under the configuration section, we need to add the messaging endpoint. This is the URL that we just copied over. But very important is that our bot is just an API. We need to add the following as well. Type in API slash messages. 
this will mean that it will refer to our controller. Now what we need to do is we need to create a Microsoft App ID and password for this bot. So click on Create. It should open up a new page. Great, we now have an App ID. Copy the App ID. And now what's very important is that we've been running this bot without additional layers of security, but we don't want just anyone sending requests to our API endpoint. So let's make this bot a little bit more secure by adding a password. Look at the message that's been displayed. We need to store it and paste this into our bot configuration file. So first, we need to actually make some changes into our Visual Studio file. Go back to Visual Studio and double click the web config. You can see that we have an option to add in our Microsoft App ID as well as our Microsoft App password. So let's do that. We already copied the Microsoft App ID. We now need to copy the password. Great. What this is doing is that it's making that our bot is only accessible via these specific channels. This makes our bot a lot more secure. So go ahead again and copy over the app ID because we will need this to do our registration of our bot. Go back to the registering my bots page and now we can copy and paste or we can paste in our app ID below. Great. We will not be adding analytics for now. What we need to do is we need to select agree to terms of use and click register. It looks like we have an error. Let's see what this could be. First off, the bot handle is already in use. So let's try and make one that's a bit more specific. And here it says that the endpoint URL must be HTTPS. That's something we forgot to do. So let me add HTTPS. And let's try again. Great, our bot has been created. You can see Skype has already been added as a default channel, but we'll look at this later. Great, so it looks like we have the health of the bot is that it's running fine. One last thing we need to do though, to make sure it's 100% certain, is because we've added in the Microsoft App ID and the Microsoft App Password here, go back to the Cakebot Lewis and publish it again. This will make sure that it updates with all the relevant parameters. If you go back to your cake bot as well, another really cool thing that you can do, if you go on to edit to the web services and add a new site, this is just for reference. It gives you the embed code that you'll be able to use as well as secret keys. So this allows for you to have a web chat with your bot that you've registered. So in summary, we've looked at how to publish the bot to Azure through Visual Studio, as well as registering your bot on the bot framework developer portal and adding security to your bot.